Hello friends, welcome back to my 3 tip video tutorials. In this tutorial, I would like to share with you some interesting tips related with editing in AutoCAD. But before we proceed further, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir CAD and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on all my future video uploads. So let's get started. In the first tip, I would like to introduce a new editing command in AutoCAD. Over here, I have drawn three lines. And these three lines are overlapping. And these lines are not having any end-to-end -end contact. That means the end point of these lines are not touching each other. Now I'm going to execute the overkill command. So I'll type overkill. Now it'll ask you to select the objects. I'll select these three lines using a crossing window. Now it will show you a tolerance value. The higher the number of zeros, you will get better accuracy. You don't have to do anything here. Now ignore object property. All properties should be checked. Now just give OK. You can see that all the three lines are replaced with a single line, killing all unnecessary lines. Now why is it drawn with cyan color? Because cyan color was given to the line which was drawn most recently. Now, I'm going to execute this overkill command on this building plan. Before that, I'll give some editing command, for example, erase, and I'll select the objects just to know the number of objects in this. You can see that there are 660 objects in this drawing. And some of the objects may be overlapping, right? So let us execute overkill here. Now I'll select the objects in this, give enter, now I'll give OK. You have got a message that 158 overlapping objects deleted. Now let's give the erase command again and select the objects. You can see that there are 503 objects. So you have succeeded in deleting all unwanted lines using this powerful command in AutoCAD. And ultimately, you have saved the file size. The next editing tip is regarding a special type of copy in AutoCAD. All of you are already familiar with copy command because it is one of the most frequently used command in AutoCAD. But there is a special type of copy which can be accessed by pressing three keys simultaneously. For that, you have to first select the objects to be copied. Then you press Ctrl Shift C keys simultaneously. I'll press that. So automatically a copy base command will appear at the command prompt. So it will ask you for a base point. I'll choose this as a base point. Now the entire drawing is copied to the clipboard. Now if you want to take a copy of it or if you want to paste it, all you have to do is give the universal paste key, which is Ctrl V. So I'll press Ctrl V. Here the advantage is while copying it to the clipboard, you have specified the base point and that is required in order to maintain accuracy, right? Now you can keep the second point at any desired location. And this special copy tool can also be used between two drawing files. Let's see that. I'll just select this object. I'll use the normal copy, which is Control C. And when you do this, you won't be able to specify the base point, right? Now I'll switch over to the next drawing file. It's a blank file. And I'll press Control V. I'll paste it somewhere over here. Okay, this is just normal copy paste operation. Next, I'll switch over to the first drawing file. Then I'll select these objects. That is a first floor plan. Then I'll press Ctrl Shift C to copy. Now it'll ask you for a base point. I'll give this particular point as a base point. Now I'll activate this drawing file. Press Ctrl V to paste. Now it'll ask you for the insertion point and you can choose it right here. Now the pasted drawing is precisely placed. So that is the difference between normal copy paste operation and the special copy paste operation. This method is also superior to normal copy command because normal copy can only be performed in a single drawing whereas this procedure can be performed between two drawings. Isn't this cool? The next editing tip is related with a well-known key in the keyboard. That is shift key. I can make an entire video on the application of shift key in AutoCAD. But for the time being, I would like to just briefly go through 
three typical application of shift key while you perform editing. I'll give trim command and you know how to perform trimming. Just give enter and you select the object to trim using a crossing window. The whole thing will get trimmed off. I'll undo the entire trimming I've done. Now I'll move this arc using the grip editing method. Now I'll again give trim command, give enter and I'll hold on the shift key while I perform trimming and select the objects using a crossing window. You can see that the trim command can be used to extend objects. Hence by combining shift key with the trim command, trim can be used to perform extension operation. Next we will see another application of shift key. You know that fillet command can be used to connect two non-intersecting lines with a smooth arc and chamfer can be used to connect two lines using an inclined line. But when you combine shift with the fillet, let's see what happens. So I'll click on fillet and I hold on the shift key and you select the first and the second object. You can see that instead of connecting two objects using an arc and these two lines can be made to intersect at a point. Same is the case with chamfer. So I'll click on chamfer command. I'll hold on the shift key, select the first object and the second object. These lines will meet at a point. Hence by using shift you will get this result even if there is a radius present in the fillet as well as a distance present in chamfer. Next we will see another application of shift key. Some of you may already be familiar with this. I'm trying to create a rectangle using a polyline. So I click on polyline and I'll start from this point and my ortho mode is on. You can see the state of ortho, it's on. Now I'll pick the next point here, another one here. Suppose if I want to temporarily disable ortho, you can hold on the shift key. When you press shift, the ortho is disabled. Now you can draw an inclined line. Okay, next the shift key is released. It is back to ortho mode. Now I'll right click and close. So this way you can temporarily suppress ortho mode using the shift key. There are a number of other application of shift key in AutoCAD. I'm afraid that will lengthen the video. Maybe in some other video, I'll deal with the rest of the application of shift key in AutoCAD. That's all about some of the editing tips in AutoCAD. Hope this was informative. Hope you liked it. Until I catch you in my next three tip video. Bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time. Peace be upon you all.